Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 17 to the power of n equals 17. Solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So, as usual, we express this as negative 1 times 17 raised to the power of n equals 17. Now, if you have ab raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So this will give us negative 1 power n times 17 power n. And this equals 17. So right now, what we are going to do will be to apply natural log. I have natural log of negative 1 power n times 17 power n equals natural log of 17 and if you have natural log of a times b equals natural log a plus natural log b so applying this right here i will have natural log negative 1 power n plus natural log 17 power n equals natural log 17. Also, if you have natural log a power b, equals b times natural log a. Applying this right here and here, I will simply have n times natural log negative 1 plus n times natural log 17 equals natural log 17. And for this negative one here, you have e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0. Meaning that e power i times pi equals negative 1. Replacing this with negative 1 here, I have n times natural log of e power i times pi plus n times natural log of 17 equals natural log of 17. And also, if you have natural log of a power b, equals b times natural log of a. Applying this right here, i pi will come behind this. So I have n times i pi times natural log of e plus n times natural log of 17 equals natural log of 17. So from here, this cancel this. I will simply have n times i times pi plus n times natural log of 17 equals natural log of 17. This n, this n, I can factor that out. I have n times this divide this, I have i times pi plus this is natural log of 17 because this divide is again and this equals natural log of 17. Right now, isolating n, dividing this by i times pi plus natural log of 17, dividing this by i times pi plus natural log of 17. So what happens here is that this cancel this. So what we are going to have is simply n this is natural log of something divided by i times pi plus natural log of something. Now we can leave our answer this way because we cannot simplify this further. So we have solved it and that is our solution based on this method. Now let's consider this other method here. I'll simply have Negative 17 power n equals 17. So replacing this with negative 1 times 17. So have negative 1 times 17 power n equals 17. Now if you have a times b power c equals a power c times b power c. Applying this right here. So I will simply have Negative 1 power n times 17 power n 
or something. So what I'm going to do will be to apply natural log. That natural log of negative one power n times something power n equals natural log of something. So if you have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. Applying that here, I will simply have natural log of negative one power n plus natural log of 17 power n equals natural log of 17. So remember, if you have natural log of a power p equals p times natural log of a. Applying that here and here. So I'm simply going to out n times natural log of negative 1 plus n times natural log of 17 equals natural log of 17. Now you have negative 1 here. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals n. So if you decide to take the squares of both part of this, so that means this cancel this, you have negative 1 equals what i power 2. So you have n times natural log of i power 2 plus n times natural log of 17 equals natural log of 17. So right now, remember if you have natural log of a power p equals p the natural log of a. So from here, applying that here, I will have 2 times n times ln of i because the 2 will come behind this plus n times ln of 17 equals ln 17. So right now, there is n here, there is n here. I can factor that out. I'll have n times 2 times ln i plus ln 17 equals ln 17. So from here, I will isolate n by dividing this by 2 times ln i plus ln 17. Dividing this by 2 times ln i plus ln 17. So right now, this cancel this. I have n equals ln 17 divided by 2 times ln i plus ln 17. So this also is our answer. But if you observe this solution here with this one here, at this point, we have i times pi, while at this point, we have 2 times ln i. So we have 2 times ln i equals i times pi. This and this are the same. So depending on the one you choose to use or any limiter you choose to use, you have the same thing. So guys, that is it. So any of the methods, you are fine. Thank you. and. See you in our next video. Please don't forget to share this video and subscribe. And I love you. Thank you.